Hello there, internet folks. Hideous here. Welcome to part five of my playthrough of Machine for Pigs. Last we left off, I was getting stuck in doorways. Ding. Right. Um. There's a lever in one of these rooms. And a card pull. I haven't been down here. I really hope the dog is what I was reading in this uh, this part. How in the holy hell do you have base of religion off that? Sorry, did I just insult your religion? Start as you mean to go on, eh? Move, move. No. That will do. Okay. Note reading time. November the twenty third, eighteen ninety nine. Twin candles bent to the will of the essential saint, casting their light to the corners of the chapel. Father Jeremiah, I thought, could be trusted with the secret, but he is like all the others. So the old priest has gone to the holding pens with his flock. He says he will enter into our world with them, a shepherd indeed. Nope, nope, don't like these sounds. Don't like these sounds. What up there? <sighs> okay. Oh. Right, came from here. <sighs> What's on the other side? What's on the other side? I hope it's not death. I hope it's candy and pretty flowers and singing lessons. Sorry. And that is why I don't go to church. I'm missing something. I'm missing. Oh. Without, without uh, any sort of ignition, without tinder boxes, without lighters, no. We'll just assume wizards are doing this. Oh. Hello. Hello. A cryptic clue. Some kind of mechanism, a secret and infernal one, no doubt. The missile candlestick is clearly the answer. Ah, but why? This I cannot fathom. Why hide secret machines in a place of prayer? Where are the faithful? Why are there drag marks about the altar as if someone was pulled away? <coughs> a, some sort of in. I don't know. Where are all the masses? Maybe they got tired of worshipping cadavers. Wait, but they worship Jesus. Oh, so, no, no, let's not get meta. <sighs> okay, so there's a candle missing. Now this place is littered with candles, so I'll uh, obviously. <sighs> Keyboard went weird. It's been possessed by the spirit of a something. Oh. 
Was that there before? Tight, tight. People choose to get married in these places. How curious. Right, okay. Aha ha! Okay, oh, it actually wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. We all know what's going to happen, but we all know something's going to happen. As soon as I. Activate this switch. Oh fucking hell, that was loud. Running, 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 running. What did that do? Fennel machinery. The engine fires. The flames are stoked. I hear steam in the walls. Vibrations upon the very air. My heart falters at the prospect of throwing the lever and exposure and exposing the workings of this dark contraption but my children beckon me on and I cannot fail them if this was me I would be getting the fuck out of this place balls to my kids which funny enough is where they come from right. now can I fill this switch yes I can I did what? It appears I have no choice, thus I descend and may God have mercy upon my soul. If this is my bedlam and I am to be cast as Matthews, then I will wear that mental mantle for the sake of my boys and face whatever horrors lie beneath the altar. You really love your kids, don't you? Oh! How inviting! God. Uh. <sighs> right. Okay. Listen, Papa. Hold the egg to your ear. You can hear the sea. Oh, it's a shell, you stupid kid. Now, folks, <sighs> how are you all doing then? <laughs> it's not the answer I wanted. language. You down here? Sage advice. Did I come from here? Okay, I think I came from here. Down I go. 
What in the holy fuck was that? <laughs> well, the game's called Machine for Pigs, so I think we know what that was. Okay. I, I can't comment right now. I really, really can't. I'm so busy. Hope to Christ I don't get my nipples gnawed off. Are you in here? Little baby. Please stop crying. Okay, okay, it's... Ah! Oh God, don't see me. Oh my. And so to the stoking. Sorry, my voice is shaking. Pulling cogwheels now, sneezed into his kerchief when the dust got into his eyes. I've begun to change more rapidly now, he surmised. I've never been so relieved to see an exit door before. Okay, I can't go back. So... Right, so that's my first encounter with the, uh, the pigs. I wasn't scared. I wasn't scared. Oh, why would you even think such a thing? This looks familiar. Oh, it doesn't. It looks. Oh, hang on. Let me know. Oh, why did that go? Ah, another. Building station. Okay. Uh, crows are at it tonight. Out in full force to see me shit my water pants. His shoes. Always the water and the sparks of the embers of the wheels. It's too bony. It's too damn bony! The man clearly does not like bones. Right. The Mantis Processing Company. My soul shudders at what I have seen, but at last I have reached the main part of the factory. Now onwards, downwards, to find those floodwaters and drain them away. Like Moses, I will cleave the waters and lift my little darlings clear of its fire cradle. Okay, so slow in that draft here, just not made of money. Let heat escape like that. There we go. Oh, oh it's this guy. This guy. These men, Professor, these so-called men of vision, they would shackle the masses to a wheel and turn it till their backs break. All for that opiate, the lure of profit. These fools who lackey them, these priests, these officials, this government. 
They make pigs of us all. But what solution, my dear man? How to break a cycle? You cannot simply remove the promise of a better world for these unfortunates. In the workhouses, in the orphanages, the belief in heaven is surely the only sucker one can find. We do not need to wait. We can bring forth paradise now. We can speed the passion. With only a small sacrifice, we can hold the apocalypse. With just a small sacrifice, we can free our shackles and deliver them to paradise now. Delicious paradise. All right, what's this? Flood breach, emergency shutdown in place. All right. I assume that's germane to the story. Piston rooms. Now let me just have a look. These weren't labelled, were they? That was highlighted, but I'm not entirely sure what it means. What it's referring to. Whether it's saying this, that's where I am now. Okay, I really do think the flickering of my torch is a signifier of something. Um, I'm not sure what. Mm. Right, I'll go forward a little bit. Uh, Good, if I can go back now. <laughs> oh, oh fuck, I'm trapped. Well, that was stupid. Okay. Well, I'm trapped, so I need a minute to think about what I've just done. I'm going to stand here in the naughty corner. Think about my deeds. And I shall see you tomorrow for part six. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.